Okay, hello again. Today, let's try this little frog. Looks like he's looking for something good to eat. Now you can use your Sharpie and your watercolors or this student used oil pastels or crayons to create a crayon resist. Uh, you can also work on a vertical orientation and put two frogs in your lily pad. That would be fine, it's up to you. But in any case, I'm going to draw it with a black Sharpie. So let's try this, it'll be fun. You'll need a piece of paper on a horizontal orientation, your Sharpie for drawing, and watercolors. I also would suggest that you might want to use an oil pastel or crayon to make a, a, a little pattern on the frog's back and then use watercolor to create a little crayon resist. That's kind of fun. Okay, let's go. All right, now this is a simple directed drawing exercise, okay? So, as I've said before, foreground first. Let's do a little bit of pond grass here. That's in the foreground. Now to the left of center right here, and at about the horizon line, we're just going to do a curve. That's the top of the frog's head. Very simple. And then on either side of that curve, we're gonna do these big round eyes. And then within that, those circles do a straight line. They can His eyes can be closed, but I'm going to make his eyes open. So I'm going to do a half circle on top of that curve of that straight line, and then add some eyeballs up at the top. He's eyeing a fly up there. We'll do that in a minute. All right, and remember, if we're going too quickly, just pause your video, get caught up, and then come back. Now we're gonna do his back, which you continue this curve and go down to the side. All right, and then let's do his hind leg from that. I didn't mean to do that little hook, but that's okay. You're gonna curve up and come down. That's his back leg. And then add some webbed feet. Now, let's start his hind leg. Oh, let's do let's do his I forgot to do his face. Curve to the right and then wave this in. This is his mouth. I'm going to leave him a little smile. But before we do the tummy, we have to put his uh, front right leg up there. So start with a like a long neck U, and then add his little webbed feet on there. Now we can do his tummy before we do his other leg. So start here at the opening of his mouth, curve in and then out. He's got sort of a fat tummy. Skip over what you've already drawn and then pick it up over here with the leg. And that if you want to continue this lineup, you could do that. Now let's do the other front leg. A little web foot. Remember, pause if you need to catch up. And another out curve out to the outside. This is his other back leg and then a web foot. <laughs> it's kind of silly, isn't it? And then do a little interior line. That's it. That's the hardest part of the drawing, okay? All right, let's put him on a lily pad, which means he's sitting on this sort of oval pancake on the pond, top of the pond. So I'm gonna start with a curve, and then I'm gonna end that with a skinny V. Lily, lily pads have these little indents. And then just wave this around to make your oval there. Now let's give him um, a nice little environment. So I'm gonna do some water lilies. Remember, it's organic, so it doesn't need to look exactly right. I have a loose line here. I'll do it again. Here's a lily pad. A couple of curves. And then close that off. And then a lily pad. And I think I could do one over here. A couple of curves. Close it off. See how loose this is? I don't care. And a pad. And then we're going to add the water. And the water, you can either have the water up on the horizon line or behind him. I'm going to, let's see, I think I'll make it a little bit behind him because I want to add some, some more lily, um, some grass in the back there. I might have a few little grass leaves right there. Remember, pause if we're going too fast. Now, I'll do a few little grass fronds here up at the top of the, the water. 
Now the last thing, let's do his the fly that he's got his eyes on. Now start with a little bit of a dotted line and then a circle. You go right up above his head, stop at the above his head. And then here, this is nothing more than an oval with it's filled in and two curves that overlap. That's the fly. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, now I'm going to use an oil pastel. Actually, I, I think I'll do a little white and a little yellow. You could use blue or any color that you would like. I'm going to, you can hardly, the yellow you'll be able to see. You can't see the white. So I'm going to put some spots that are on his back that I'll use for crayon resist. Actually, I think this needs a little bit, let's do a, needs something over here, so I'm going to do a little bit of grass, like this. You've done grass before, so that's easy. And this is a little bit of the lily pad. Okay? Now, watch what I do. This is kind of interesting. I'll just paint part of this, but I want you to see um, what I, I, I have in mind here. You have the yellow on his tummy. See how wet that is? Nice and wet. And I'm going to do a little, what's called wet into wet, where you've done this before with the panda bear, where you take a wet brush, no paint, and you just rub it along that edge. And then I'm going to meet it with some green at the other side. Oh, look, there's the, there's the crayon resist. I'll go around his eye. Here, don't want to go in his eye. Now, I'm going to let that, run, that green run into the yellow. And that makes a soft edge between his back color and his tummy color, okay? There, just carry that around. See that soft edge there? Let this run here. This is a, a you know, a loose little watercolor. Oh, I got some nice markings there. And uh, his green body that runs into his little yellow tummy. Whoops, is he? <laughs> his little yellow tummy. All right, now you guys paint this. Have a good time. And remember, you can always repeat this many times. Do it as many times as you want. I want to take away, I'm using a, a wet, damp brush. I'm going to take away a little bit of this. So I make it work for you. All right, I can run. All right, you guys have some fun with this. Okay, now I'll show you these again to see what other students have done. This is Sharpie and watercolor. And then this is crayon or oil pastel with watercolor to create crayon resist. And remember, if you'd like to do a vertical picture, that's fine. Add a couple of frogs to your pond. There we go. Nice, pretty purple water. That's really nice. And then here's where we started. Okay, now you can try it. Bye.